This is the new 2024 Ram 1500 Limited. So there has been a lot of hype about the all new 2025 Ram 1500 and the all electric Ram Revolution. But is this still an amazing choice in 2024 for anyone that's looking for a truck and should you buy this over the competition? Let's go ahead and find out. The limited trim levels have always had the most chrome and bling and I can definitely see that here. The grille and headlights have chrome on the top and bottom of them and I do see that they took away all the chrome on the bottom for 2024. Now let's take a look at these headlights. These are the same old headlights from 2019 but that is not a bad thing since they are full LED and they look amazing on this Ram 1500. We also get LED high beams and an LED fog light down below that. Looking at the wheels, Ram definitely was going for a more luxurious look in these 22 inch LA wheels. But they are definitely not designed for off-roading since we only have a 45 series sidewall and they can scratch super easily. Now let's take a look at the rest of the side profile. First of all, there is a lot of chrome. We have chrome surrounding the windows and we also have a chrome molding down here. The mirrors will be fully loaded on this limited model with heating, blind spot monitoring, auto dimming, and power folding. Now let's move on to the back. We will have a split tailgate design, two power sources, and exposed exhaust outlets, and we also get full LED taillights, and the brake light will turn into the blinker. Now let's move on to the interior. Ram is especially known for the luxurious interior on this 1500, so let's get into it. Now let's start with the door panel. We have some leatherette along the top, fabric, wood trim, and some quilted leather. Now we do have all our switch gear right here, and a lot of storage down below. Now getting in is really easy thanks to these running boards, and let's take a look at the seats. These will be real leather, and you have some nice contrast stitching, fabric, and these will also be 12-way power adjusting. Now let's start off the interior with the steering wheel. This will be very nicely weather wrapped, manual adjusting and heating. Now for the gauge clusters, these will be fully LED on this Ram Limited and we also can scroll through many different things and you can even change the look of it. Now moving on to materials, Ram has always hit the nail on the head with this. We have some chrome at the top, wood trim, weatherette and contrast stitching and very nice quilted leather on the armrest. Even have limited branding right here, which I think is a super cool touch. Now, moving on to storage, Ram has definitely given you a lot with this. We have a really deep center area. We can pull this out for some more storage right there. We've got two cup holders, and you can lift this up for a little storage there, and you can lift this up for even more storage down there. Now that is absolutely insane what Ram is doing with the storage on this 1500. Now let's bring our attention to the climate controls and infotainment system. Ram is using the latest Uconnect 5 system which is pretty intuitive and works very fast. Now as you can see you have interactive widgets so I could just turn the heated steering wheel on or off right here and you can customize which widgets you want on this homepage. Now, for the climate controls, you have physical buttons here and here, but if you don't want to use them, you can control it, of course, with the screen. Now, of course, you have wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and you also have Amazon Alexa, a Wi-Fi hotspot, and navigation. Now, taking a look down here, we have our trailer brake controller, air suspension, traction control, tow haul mode, and some parking sensors. Now, if we look here, we also have our four-wheel drive settings, and the gear shifter. So let's take a look at the camera. Now, as you can see, we have a very high resolution 360 degree backup camera with cross traffic alerts, as you can see with the car that just sped by. Now you have different views too. So you can see the left wheel. You can also see the right wheel if you want to, or the rear cam. It all depends on what you really need. 
Now there are endless possibilities of what you could do with this camera, but my one complaint with this portrait style infotainment system is that the camera only takes up half of the screen, so that is a big waste. Let's put it back in park. Coming up here, we have our digital rear view mirror. You can just flip the switch right there. And we also have a large panoramic sunroof up top that lets in a lot of light. Now let's move on to the passenger side. If you have a coworker in the car, what do you get? Starting with the door panel, we have a very premium design with about the same materials. We have some leatherettes, fabric, wood trim, quilted leather, and a lot of storage. And take a look at how luxurious this looks, guys. We have a banana holder over here, and these seats will be real leather with fabric inserts with 12 ways of power adjusting. Now these are very, very comfortable to sit in, I have to say. You also get a very large glove box with some interesting lining right there, but it is not felt lined, so some things might slide around. You also get a secret glove box with felt lining, and you get a little button right there, and that is just for extra storage that doesn't fit in the actual glove box. Now let's move on to the second row, which is probably a very impressive part of this Ram 1500. Starting with the door panel, we have leatherette at the top, fabric, quilted leather, wood grain, aluminum, more leather, and a lot of storage down below. Well, that was definitely a mouthful. Now, you get a lot of legroom, about 42 inches to be exact, and that is a lot for a passenger. Down here, we get four USB ports, a 115 volt household style outlet, three stages of heated seats, and three stages of ventilated seats. You also get cup holders with wood grain, and this is a very comfortable place to be with these seats being in very nice weather. Now just take a look at all of this stuff. You even get storage under the seats if you have extra things that you don't need and you need an extra place to store it. Now let's move on to one of the most important parts of this Ram 1500, the bed area. And I have to say, this truck does not disappoint. We have two power sources, a tow hitch, and a manual bed step that you can pull out just like that. We also have a very interesting gate. You can split open it, so that means you won't have to reach past the extended gate to get into whatever you need to get into right there. This is a very useful feature, however not as useful as the bump to open tailgate on the Tundra or the power closing one on the F-150. You can, of course, open it normally right there, and we have the optional spray and bed liner, very bright LED lights, and tie-down hooks. This will also measure in at 5 feet and 7 inches. I probably don't even have to tell you what's under the hood, because this Ram 1500 is famous for the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that has been under this hood for forever. This puts out 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque, which is a little bit less than the competitors, but still very strong. This gets a good 17 miles per gallon, but it is not necessarily better than what the Tundra Hybrid has to offer. Now this is also paired to an 8-speed automatic transmission, so let's see our powertrain setup in action. Now this has to be one of the most competitive segments in the auto industry in America since you know Americans love their trucks. Now this Ram 1500 is one of six competitors. We also have the Ford F-150, Nissan Titan, Chevrolet Silverado, Toyota Tantra, and GMC Sierra. This Ram 1500 is especially known for its super luxurious interior and very versatile bed style. We also have the famous 5.7 liter Hemi V8 under the hood. I think with the new 2025 model out there, this Ram 1500 is in a great position. And if you still want an electric truck, you can also get the F-150 Lightning or the all new Ram Revolution that just came out. Now this Ram 1500 is a big one, measuring in at 233 inches in length and 83 inches in width. Well everyone, that is going to wrap up today's review on this 2024 Ram 1500 Limited. 
This is still an amazing choice in 2024 if you need a truck from Ram immediately with its luxurious interior and its powerful Hemi V8. Do keep in mind that the 2025 Ram models will no longer have the Hemi V8, so this is one of the last Ram trucks you can buy with a V8 under the hood. So please stay tuned for more videos of this Ram 1500 and leave your thoughts down below about this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.